Yo, it's a lion's war, and the stakes are high. Lord Shadow steps up, he's ready to fly. Questions in the air, they start to rain. Can Lord clear his lane without any strain? How many deaths will Lord give out this war? He gotta maintain. Find the best counter for the fender. Lord Shadow skill, he's the ultimate contender. Maps laid out, it's a treacherous path. But Lord's got the skills, he's done the math. Checking the nodes, planning the attack. He's moving forward, there's no turning back. Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 52, and this is war number two. And we're going up against an alliance called Marvel World Order. I remember them. We've probably fought them in the past. Maybe not in this alliance, but in uh, one of my previous alliances. But I do remember that name. All right, let's see. Who did they ban? All right, Void, um, Infamous Iron Man, and Silk. All right. Ooh, globally banned uh, Hulkling and... Uh, Hercules, and of course we have Corvus and CGR Band Immune. All right, let's see what we got. Okay, uh-huh. You know, I like this trend. Yeah. I definitely like this trend. So, Kushala does not benefit. It, it, let's see, yeah, Negasonic, Scarlet Witch, none of them benefit. So I noticed this before. If they're going to line my path with uh, Defender, uh, Tactic Defenders, Provocators, then most likely they're not going to benefit from the node. And we can see that here. Guardian does benefit from the node, but as you can see, he is not a tactic defender. So I could just bring in someone to deal with him normally. And of course, I'm thinking Corvus. Now, I have the uh, spreadsheet up for who I have assigned. So he has me fighting Guardian with Hulkling, but Hulkling is globally banned. So we're not going to be able to do that. I'll probably swap Corvus in uh, for that Guardian fight. Uh, then for Kushala, let's see. He has me uh, Sandman. Okay, and Sandman, I believe, is a attacker. He has the uh, tactic, Secutor. So that should be interesting. Okay. Sandman, that's a good call. And then we have Negasonic. Now, who did he have for me there? Lady Deathstrike. Perfect. Perfect. Ten. And what do we got next? Um, where is it? Scarlet Witch. Okay, he also has me uh, Lady Deathstrike. Now, I'm wondering. I know Lady Deathstrike can do that fight. I can't remember. I hope she doesn't poison me like the uh, OG Scarlet Witch likes to do because Lady Deathstrike is not immune to poison. So um, let me see. And it doesn't look like I am assigned any minis. Nope. No minis. Okay, so that's it. So I'm going to have these fights. Um... So I'm thinking, you know, go in with, with the Sandman, the Lady Deathstrike, and just because Hulkling is uh, banned, I'm going to... Actually, hmm. I mean, Corvus will be the easy defender here. Hmm. I mean, uh, attacker for this defender. So, yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to um, bring in Corvus, Lady Deathstrike, and Sandman. All right, let's get on with the fighting. 
Okay, we're going in with Sandman, Lady Deathstrike, and Corvus. Now, I've used Sandman before, but I still need to practice with him a little bit more. But I like him. I remember when I pulled him as a seven star, I was so excited. And I haven't ranked him up, but he's going up. He's definitely going to go up. All right, so this first fight is going to be against Guardian. Generally, Guardian is no match for my Corvus. Now, in this particular case, Guardian, when he has an armor up, he benefits from the node. And Corvus is not immune to the power burn and would take damage. So if I hit a Guardian while he has an armor up, I'm going to take damage. But I just have to remember to parry, break his armor, wait for the armor breaks to expire, or just keep parrying him and keep the armor breaks up. But I have to watch to see when he gets his armor. See right here? Boom. He got his armor back. And so now I just need to parry him again. It goes on cooldown. And we're good. Don't ask me. Sometimes I just get that timing just a little bit wrong. And just because of that, I took all that damage. So you see, all I got to do is block it. It does not do a lot of damage when I'm uh, blocking Okay, so I didn't need to try to evade that. But sometimes my muscle memory, I, I can't help it. If you uh, have been playing raids recently, Guardian is one of the mini bosses. And so I've gotten used to that and I evade his special one all the time. But sometimes, you know, I mess up. Now, Kushala. I am not familiar with with fighting Kushala. I don't fight her. So Sandman is a great counter for this. Okay. Beautiful counter. All right. Now, I was still learning to deal with Kushala. So I'm playing a little bit, you know, hesitantly. All right. You see that I blocked her uh, specials because I really don't know how to evade her specials but everything is going pretty well here okay yep looking good looking good and then miss i was like what 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 just happened how did i miss like that so now i was worried okay and i'm looking at my health my health is like going down and i'm like what so you see i'm trying to um evade and then I took a nice good five piece. Now I've got um, incinerate passives on me. And I'm like, oh boy. And I'm like, I just blocked that because I had no idea. I think that was the first time I've seen her special too. I, I don't know. And so I'm just like, wow. This went from going pretty well to now I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to get this one. All right, so. We did a, a good job there. You see that I'm trying to um, evade some of the special because it seems like I'm taking a lot of damage. Look at that. Those are all blocked hits. And it's hurting. So you see me, I'm trying to evade one, block one, evade the other one. Okay, so now I'm like, all right, I need to do something. Let me... Uh, build up to a special three. Oh! So, what happened there? I'm looking at my, my power bar, and I'm like, okay, I, I'm gonna punish her special, and I should have a special three, and hopefully that will take her out, right? But the power gain, I didn't notice her power gain. And so she fired her special one, was gaining power, and had another special one ready before I could even punish the special one. Back-to-back -back special ones. It is what it is. So I was like, I wanna do this fight again because I know Sandman is great for this fight and I would be way more aggressive 
Now, I'm not sure, but I think that once I had those incinerate passives on me, that's when I was taking a lot of damage into my block. So I would just have to focus in, play aggressively, and that fight should not have been that difficult. But I was unfamiliar with it. I'm a little bit more familiar now. So if I see her there again, yeah, we gonna get our revenge. Probably will take Sandman again. Uh, and uh, maybe by the time I see her there, I will have ranked up my Sandman as well. Who knows? Now, here's another fight that I am not familiar that, you know, fighting uh, Negasonic, but I was pretty sure that Lady Deathstrike should be able to handle her. Now, on this particular node, she does not really benefit from the node. So as long as I just take somebody that can handle mutants, we're good. All right. So can't parry her. But look at this. Boom, boom. Now she's uh, her regen is blocked. Health blocked. Let's do it. Yeah, buddy. And not only does Lady Deathstrike have a heal block, you know, easy access to a heal block, but since she's an attacker, um, you know, secretur, um, attacker, it's all good. We uh, are just going to tear her apart. Not even a problem. I love me some Lady Deathstrike. I still wish that they had given her a little bit more damage, but it is what it is. I have to be careful. I'm trying to save that energy refill for an emergency, you know, but I used it by accident one time and I was like, oh, well, may as well. And it was it was in an off season war at that. I was so mad. So anyway, next fight is going to be um, Scarlet Witch, the sigil edition. And one thing that I was worried about, I remember OG Scarlet Witch. One of the things that she likes to do is put a heal block on you and poison you. Y'all who have fought her know what I'm talking about. She loves doing that. I'm not so sure that this Scarlet Witch does that. So I was like, okay, um, Corvus probably could have done this fight as well. But I was like, well, Lady D is ranked up. And she, of course, uh, benefits from the attacker tactic. So let's go. All right. So she's heal blocking her anyway. Just look at that. Until I get enough uh, debuffs and I get that nice long heal block. And I believe uh, she also um, reduces the uh, power gain as well because of the uh, attacker tactic. All right, so we're doing well. Now, did you guys see that stutter? That was not your eyes. That actually happened in the game. I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm sitting here blinking, trying to figure out what just happened in the game, okay? But we got her down, no deaths, and I was not assigned to any minis. So we'll be back in a minute, and you'll find out how this war ended. And we're back, and unfortunately, we lost this war. Um, looks like <clears throat> they got, uh, they just played better. We died too many times, is what it's looking like. Uh, shout out to our MVPs. But <clears throat> I want you to notice that even a loss at Tier 2 is a good amount of points. So if we can keep winning... Losing, winning, losing, but we stay in the tier two, we'll still come out in good shape. All right. So anyway, that is going to do it. Thank you all for watching. Take care. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.
Arena and chill grind, that's how we roll. No stress, no drama, just on patrol. In the fight, he swift. His tactics be tight. Those shadows in the arena ready to ignite. From the streets to the screen, his skills be renowned in the world of Marvel, Lord, the King Prince.